It is December 22nd, 2022, and we are getting ready to close out for the year for reviews. I think I have one more in me this year and many more lined up for uh, 2023, but uh, this should close us out for, for the year. And uh, we're gonna bring, bring up today Vastfire USB-C rechargeable green flashlight. Now right here, is this brings us back to the question of should we be reviewing uh budget lights and uh the answer is very often no because the standard of quality is tends to be pretty low uh and uh sometimes the standard is not met at all however we're going to go ahead and do that because this was sent with the expectation that i do it and uh i really didn't didn't ask for this particular one but now that i have it rather than just send it back i wanted to Go ahead and be as fair as I could with it and do a review. Besides, I don't often do strict hunting lights. This is a green flashlight made for hunters. And lo and behold, I did find it to have some value. Uh, notice the price here. It is actually uh, going for $59 on Amazon, and I will include the link. And of course, as always, it is up to you to decide whether you think that it's worth that or not. Um, so... This is a green, it boasts a XML2 uh, bulb, or wick as they say. Um, it has a side switch, which consists of, you guessed it, five modes. And it has a pressure switch that uh, is allows you to have momentary and uh, a solid one mode, which will always be on high. Now, if you take this off and put the regular cap on that it comes with when you get it, then you just have to go through all of the five modes, which gives you the blinkies, which makes it pretty much unusable, especially the fact that this is a zoomy and uh, it's you don't really need five modes, especially with a hunting light. I don't know why they thought to do that. Why didn't they just sell it as a hunting light rather than try to do the typical blinky stupid arrangement that most of the budget lights do? With that, you get two of these... Uh, things that, that one is for the scope and one is to hold the light and you can uh, put them on like so I'm not going to do that because I just don't think I need to you get a really cool box with it um, right like it is here and you get a USB type C charger which also acts as a phone charger and allows you to have a power bank as a uh, as a backup this actually stays on. I'm really, really impressed. So you, what you see here is pretty much what you get. Uh, the box is probably at least as valuable as the light. It's a really cool reusable box. And then if you are a hunter and you do want a thrower green flashlight that can be used momentarily and can be used as a solid on off because of the pressure switch, which you have to turn the light on first, by the way, you can then use that. Uh, at first I thought it didn't work, but uh, I was about to write him back and say, this piece of junk doesn't work, but it does work. So uh, here is basically the rundown of what you get. Sometimes a tablet is just easier. Um, that's the most accurate shot of uh, whether it is a, a beam shot. Uh, that's not quite accurate. It doesn't quite look like that. You wonder how they come across some of these picks. Uh, some of the stuff that it boasts here uh, is pretty much... Um, is pretty much, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not necessarily accurate, but the reviews are not inaccurate. Here is more what you get. If you've played around with a typical <clears throat> zoomy of this size, then you know kind of the performance. And it does throw well, as you're gonna see. It throws pretty well, and it zooms pretty well. The question is, do you like a green light? Because that's what it is. It is fairly well reviewed with uh, various reviewers praising it. Um, you got a couple here who really did not like it. And uh, some one of the most critical reviews uh, is as follows. As far as looking at all of the reviews, you're actually kind of have to wonder about a few of them, whether or not they're real reviews. Uh, and so I really, this particular light is, um, it's, it's, you know, if you like green flashlights or hunting lights, then this could work for you. So let's take it out and play and see what we got. You can hear the sink running we have the sink on because of the freeze it's going to be 17 degrees tonight and so we decided to play it safe 
Here we are in tactical zoom, which is quite a good, uh, a good range. And you definitely get a hell of a lot of spill because that's what it's supposed to do. The cold front is blowing in, my friends, and I am freezing my balls off. Okay. Very nice range. Let's put it against the wall here. Now that's actually what it looks like. You've got 80 meters over there, 88, 89 meters to that fence. And I just turned it off and turned it back on. Would I call that a lot of throw? It's definitely functional as a short range thrower. For those of you who have had years to play with zoomies, such as just about all of you on Budget Light Forum, you will notice the beam pattern is very similar to other offerings. You can shoot this out in the distance, and then uh, if you have your scope and your rifle ready, you can do some hunting. Keep in mind, I'm just holding it here with the uh, side switch. And what I neglected to show on the, uh, I just bumped the switch. What I neglected to show in the first part of the demonstration is that it is, uh, it has a Velcro piece that keeps the cord up by the front of it so that you're not always uh, having to hold it like I'm holding it in my hand right now and it's falling all over the place. This is definitely, like all zoomies when they're zoomed out, uh, you get a whole lot of usable picnic, 4th of July, nighttime worthy, zoom out so if we go long you're definitely getting killer hella zoom out right there and you're getting a decent amount of illuminations i think that 1200 may be a bit optimistic but not much you're getting uh definitely a good amount out the front i think and uh you would not have any uh have any serious concerns about the amount of light you're getting you also don't have any issues that are detectable as far as heat goes as far as I can tell. So here we go at the side of the house. And um, I have the faucet running there too, so I'm not gonna attempt to take it in the backyard. We'll jump, uh, jump out from the other side. Even when that wind is not blowing, believe you me, my friends, this is a cold night. My face is already numb. You are getting okay range there. I believe it is 350 meters, which would definitely be accurate. Fairly impressive. And I want to be sure and emphasize, folks, that even though this is, I may not be as qualified to review this as hunters, people that have a lot of experience uh, in the field of actually putting it out on a test range and trying to shoot a deer with it or something, or at least take it to a, a deer hunt bunker sort of thing. Uh, I still can demo it like this and, and give you the best uh, opportunity to, to see it in action. My fingers on the pressure switch is why that is happening. You can see it there. So I want to be as fair as I can with all my lights. I know that sometimes I get in ruts and uh, just kind of go appear to go off on a lot of lights based on my own preferences, which of course is what a review essentially is. And I've learned through reviewing movies and different things throughout the years that uh, 
you can't even all the retail stuff teaches you people want to be told what to like they want to be told what to buy but sometimes you can't do that all you can do is let the pictures or the experience uh go for you know speak for itself and that's kind of what i'm doing here all right i'm freezing i'm going in you guys uh you guys have a good night and i'll have the link in the description